Hello everybody and welcome back to another video about life in Japan. So at the time of this recording I've been in Japan for a little over four years and entering my fifth year so it's been a quite a wild journey. But for many people back home or maybe even people who are considering living in Japan I just want to share a little bit about why I chose to live in Japan and why it's been so long but yet yeah, I'm still here. A common question I always get asked by coworkers or uh, family and friends that um, like when am I going back home? When am I coming back to Canada? And simple answer is I don't know. Uh, it's not like I don't like Canada. It's not like I have some attachment in Japan. But there's just this feeling and longing that um, I want to stay here. So I thought I'd just give a little. Uh, rundown and reasons behind why I chose to stay in Japan and maybe why I don't have a reason to go back to Canada. The first thing is that I have no obligations in Canada. The main reason why I stay in Japan is that there's nothing compelling me to go back to Canada. I don't need to sign any documents, I don't need to present myself to the government, and most importantly I don't need to do anything that requires my a physical presence in Canada. Now, there's no life partner or relationships waiting for me in Canada either so uh, that's another reason why. So that's a simple reason why I don't go back but that's not really a reason why I stay so I'll try to explain why I want to stay as well. Um, simply put, <laughs> uh, Japan is a simple kind of life if that makes sense. So how it works is I work, I go back home, I relax, weekend I can do whatever I want, travel, stay home, shop, etc. And that's it. Doesn't sound like there's much to my life but I kind of like that simplicity. I don't need to worry about the bigger things in life and I don't, I don't need to consider about other people. Not that I don't want to but I don't have to so that's another reason why it's just a little bit easier to manage. And that's not to say that I have no responsibilities in Japan. I still have to pay my taxes, I still have to uh, pay the bills and sign any um, local documents that um, are in Japanese. So it's a little bit of a challenge but um, I'm enjoying it. It's alright. Another thing is that in Japan I can just be surrounded by total strangers. People who don't really have to care about who I am or what I do or what I think. In Canada I know a lot of people and uh, that's not a bad thing. I, I miss some of my friends and family and I do want to spend time with them. However in Japan I don't need to worry about um, meeting out with people or hanging out with particular people, doing things with them. Again not to say that I don't want to but it just frees up a lot of my schedule. And another thing is that I don't want people to think that I just abandoned all of them back home and I've just uh, left them all. Uh, I don't want them to feel that way and if my family is watching this video I don't want you to feel like I don't want to go back home or I don't want to live in Canada anymore. That's still definitely a consideration I'm taking into account. And also a time spent back in Canada was always the best time I've had um, in my life in Japan. <laughs> I'm not in Japan but uh, the life that I'm living in Japan, time spent in Canada was always nice. Also it sounds like I'm trying to escape from something or someone but that's not the case. I just like to be independent and I don't want to rely on other people and I don't want to burden them with um, any of my issues or problems or things that I need help with. I'm just a pretty independent person and I like to be able to come back home knowing that I was able to do what I had to do without bothering too many people. And also it's nice to get away from that attachment and dependency to your family or to other people. Now think about the future, that's still something that I struggle with almost on a daily basis. I know that there's more to life than just working and living in Japan. I know there's more that I can do back in Canada. But at the same time I feel like staying here in Japan is uh, maybe the best decision I'll ever make. And who knows, maybe I'll find someone significant to me and I'll consider staying here long term. I don't know, but that's again still up in the air. Uh, but as of right now, uh, staying in Japan is maybe the uh, 
real option for me right now. And this is just a minor thing. Um, I feel like comfort is a big part of why I want to stay in Japan. And I don't want to think too much about the future as well. Because <laughs> for me, at work, I like to work hard. And I like to be able to depend on other people. And in Japan, that's what I can do. I can work hard and I can know that other people who are working with me are dependable and could get the work done. And for them, I just like their work ethic. I don't like the work culture. Those are two totally different things. I would probably talk about it in another video, but uh, the work ethic is really good in Japan and I like to be surrounded by those kinds of people. Uh, so with that, I just feel like working in Japan is a pleasant and nice country. So uh, that's it for this video. I don't know if it clears things up about why I like to stay in Japan and why I want to continue living and working here in Japan. But uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, uh, if you're thinking about living and working in Japan long term, not just like half a year or a year, but you know, much more than that, um, definitely let me know and uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions, again, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to them. So enjoy your summer uh, or enjoy autumn actually and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that will be. Bye.